John was written during the early church, and already heresies had begun to, to enter into the church. There were a group of people, I think they were called Mar Marcanites, not after St. Mark, but another Mark, who basically said, Jesus didn't really exist. He was kind of a spirit who was kind of swept in by this God, and he did all this kind of stuff and went back. And John calls them liars. And of course, we're saying, yeah, that makes sense. You know, that we know that Jesus is, is, is the one true God, et cetera, and he did come among us as a child, et cetera, et cetera. But you gotta be careful because sometimes we can be led down a primrose path. I recall I had a phenomenal, one of, one of my phenomenal teachers in seminary was, was really taught us to think and he would always challenge us, uh, challenge us on various theological points. And one day we happened to be talking about angels. And as we were talking, he kind of sat there with a bemused look on his, on his face and he, he always had a, an unlit cigar that he twirled. And we were kind of going down and this, that, and the other thing. And finally, after about 10 minutes, he said, gentlemen, you've just denied the existence of angels. And we said, no, Jack, no, no, we didn't, we didn't, we did class dismissed, and he walked out. But what had happened was, is, is that the conversation was going in a, such a way that we were leading each other to heresy. And he listened bemusedly, but the challenge was, is that, gentlemen, be careful what you're saying, be careful what you're thinking, and be careful whom you're listening to, because you can be led down that primrose path. And that's what John is challenging the disciples today. Don't be led down a primrose path that leads you to deny the existence of God, the existence of angels, the existence of the teachings of the church. Jack was a phenomenal teacher. And whenever I screw up, I think about Jack. I'm sorry. Hello, all PH. My name is Mary Lynn Januszewski, and I'm the Director of Finance and Operations at Our Lady of Perpetual Help Parish in Glenview, Illinois. And this message comes to you with heartfelt gratitude and thanks for your ongoing generosity and support of OLPH Parish. This overwhelming generosity allows us to continue to serve and to minister to the parish community in so many different ways. So thank you, OLPH for all you do. You are much appreciated.